Ben's a bit blushed at the moment. Just met some of his fans in car park, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. They saw him. Said, oh look, is that daily outdoors? And then I was an afterthought, wasn't I? Yeah. Oh, that must be Grizzly Gaz and oh. all that's, that he's with. There's that gonk. <laughs> yeah, who's that gonk? <laughs> Ben's drying out on rock. Basking like a lizard. Oh, you a, you a gecko. A gecko outdoors. Who name? Who channel name? <laughs> ben is doing the same, look. <laughs> Unpicked grass. While we sit and enjoy this view. Nineteen eighty-four. I can see Elliot of Glossop. Yeah, I can ET were up here with him as well. <laughs> Let's see if Ben sinks in here. <laughs> In trainers and all. <sighs> oh, yuck! <laughs> uh, there's me up in Bennett sinking, I'm the one who sinks in it. <laughs> He's deployed his Terminator glasses. Got to test his boots, huh? Boots? Yeah. Let's have a look at your boots. All weathers, mate. Boots, they're trainers, aren't they? Event boots. Oh, event. Love a bit of event, don't we? Better than Gore-Tex, anyway. Good job, innit? <sighs> Just loads of bogs around here. Feel like I'm part of a Summit or Nothing video. Trevor Naif, Gaz and Ben. Shall we shout something or nothing at one at Trig Point in honour of them? No. <laughs> Sorry, Trev. Right, well, this second crash site is that secret. I've had to send a drone up to try and find it because we can't find it, can we? Along. Yeah, it's saying that it's over there somewhere, but these are only tiny little game trails and you don't want to be using them on mowers because you'll end up snapping your ankle. Well, you will, I, I won't because I'm a mountain goat, so. <laughs> Get head twitching. Ooh, buddies. Not for you, mate. Have you bought some crisps? No. <laughs> I, I can't eat a sandwich without like crisps. <laughs> You're mad at. All snoozed out, aren't you, mate? Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, oh, my body's not working now. How far have we walked today, Ben? Uh, just under 827 miles. Under 827 miles. It's a lot that, innit? Oh, look at it, looks like someone's been plucking chickens in here. Woo! Let's get in. Oh, oh mate. That's nice just to relax now. Oh, mate, it's a nice view, isn't it? Eh? Nice view out there. Here, Ben. I'm gonna go halves on my last dancer. On my last, on my last dancer. <laughs> Yuck. Because we're covered in cloud this morning, I decided I were going to send the drone up to try and capture the sunrise above the cloud. But 
as so well I had a load of battery on drone but as soon as it got up <laughs> into clouds started flashing at me beeping saying critically low battery landing and the wind taking it down all the way down this steep ravine and it's about 247 meters down here tents are up there above that ridge I've got to go all the way down there there can you hear a critically low battery <sighs> there it is what a nightmare these maps are not what you want first thing in the morning and because this cloud bottom of my pants are absolutely soaking <sighs> and now I've got to get back up the other side of there Whereas tents are to pack up. If you want to see me struggle getting up a, uh, a tower of spite, 405 steps, I think it is, then stick around to watch me die going up there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching. I'm getting cramp in my legs just looking at it. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. So, here we go up the Tower of Spite. Well, there's all these respite areas on the way up so people can pass through. Oh dear, yeah. thank God for that. All right. We made it. We made it. Just. Woo. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Wayne Tower is an old Victorian folly located in King Cross, Halifax, West Yorkshire. It was built between 1871 and 1875 by John Edward Wayne a local mill owner. It stands at the height of 275 feet and has 403 steps leading to the top viewing platform. The tower was intended to be a chimney for a dye works mill, but it was never used for that purpose. There was an ongoing feud between Wayne and another local mill owner, Sir Henry Edwards, who had long complained of smoke nuisance coming from the dye works. It had long been the boast of Sir Henry that, when on the lawn of his Pinest mansion, no one could see into his private grounds. Wayne decided to alter this, and he ensured that the tower would be constructed in such a way that members of the public could have a good view of the whole district, including Sir Henry's Pinest estate. The feud between the two gentlemen became legendary and as a result the building has been called the tallest folly in the world or the Tower of Spite. So did you still have your American flat top like you did at school? <laughs> <laughs> Love the old American flat top, isn't it? <laughs> Mum used to have like a big comb. Like that. With put, a spirit level on. Yeah, yeah put I'm it in that. and then zip. <laughs> They're just your normal house flies, Paul says. Yeah. Fly connoisseur, aren't you? I like a should, fly. Should see him with a pair of chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Picking them out of the sky and eating them. <laughs> Watch out for that robin. <laughs> We've had a lot of weird weather here in the UK at the moment. Last month, hottest month, hottest June on record. Uh, Pretty much a drought, wasn't it, for yeah. three weeks? <laughs> yeah. And then we had thunderstorms come through, and really, the weather hadn't let up since then. I was sat out in thunderstorms in me uh, in my speedos in back garden. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 
<laughs> That's a, a sight to behold. Could, yeah, making neighbours blind. And Robin's back when get me back. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm. <laughs> Making a documentary on wood pigeons, <laughs> calling them in, isn't they? So then I get woke up by them. I can hear him. <laughs> Mine sounds like it's dying. Because <laughs> I've been out a couple of times over the last few weeks. And uh, been chased away by cows on one adventure. Come to these woods to chill out and to camp. And these cow there, that one's got horns. And another one just there. There's two just through there. I don't know if you can see them on this camera. Been lashing it down as well. Fended up, you'll be going anywhere, mate. Come here. Got our little tucking tons with me as well. What are you after, mate? Number 149. That is prison number, or her prison number, should I say. Dying to get in here. Aren't you Doris? I'm gonna call her Doris. Leave our friends all alone. She's not bothering you, look. She's doing the same as you. Eating grass. Hey, don't be eating that mate. Don't be eating that. Some scruffs left some uh, thing here. You don't want to be eating that, mate. I'll take that out with me. <sighs> Babysitting now as well. Like an old milk carton. Oh, it's full of cow juice as well. <laughs> Can't stop here, can I? I'm gonna be on Nair all night. Fendi, come on. So I do McDundee on it, see if that works. No. <laughs> that didn't work, did it? Mate, I just want to be out in nature and relax. <laughs> and I'm finding it hard to relax at the moment. I want to play a little game with you. <laughs> Sound like him off uh, saw, don't I? What's he called? Jigsaw. Him on little trike. <laughs> Let's play a little game. Well, the little game is you've got to spot the tent. Now, there's a tent probably about 20 yards away from the path in these woods. So, let's see if you can spot it. I've been set a challenge by my mate Q from Impractical Jokers, and it is to find a secret campsite at this beautiful reservoir. Now he hasn't given me any clues to where it is, and this reservoir forks off in two directions so I've got my work cut out Q ah, it is yeah alright mate are oh, you at car park <laughs> aren't you Q <laughs> How you doing, dude? You yeah, all right? Good to see you there, yeah. Sound. To this. So, you're going to show us where this 
secret campsite, is it? Yeah, you've been up wrong side, but... <laughs> 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 Missed it. <laughs> well, mate. Okay. Hey, don't be checking my ass out. <laughs> Oh, is that it up there? Yeah. Stinks of piss. <laughs> Doesn't it? Sorry, mate. <laughs> Got waterfall up there. Beautiful, isn't it? Why is that yeah. smell? It smells like old people's homes. <laughs> oh, wow, it's trashed. Look at the state of it, man. Have to do a litter pick out there. Yeah, but you stink of piss anyway. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Cheers, dude. Such a shame. You think it'd be out of way enough as well. Obviously not, though. No. I know. Cart it in, you can cart it out, can't you? Yeah. Benzie's cleaning up. Benzie's doing a bit of litter picking. <laughs> <laughs> you cleaning up, mate. Good girl. Oh. <laughs> right, you're gonna show us your uh, amazing tent. This is my tent. It's a a nameless twenty quid special. Nameless, from, shameless from, from eBay. <laughs> uh, you can see it's a uh, high quality materials that it's made from. Compact, obviously. Look Com at these. Comes these, with a backpack. Look at these handles. Show us backpack. They're really good. Look, look at that. <laughs> It's like a shield, isn't it? <laughs> you look the part. Obviously, it's a, a nice camouflage colour as well. Uh, it blends in seamlessly when you're camping. But watch this. This is where the magic is. Oh. <laughs> that were an anti-climax. Well, you get the idea. But no, look at this. It... Oh. Is it broke? No. Ready to go, mate. Look at this. Undo these. Turn it upside down. Boom. Look at that. Check him out. What do you need? Don't bother with those fancy guy line things. <laughs> or pegs. Or pegs. No, I've got some high quality pegs in here somewhere. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at your pegs. I heard them jingling. Look, look at these. You can't oh. really find better. Top at range. <laughs> to be honest. Them. Gee, whizzicals. <laughs> so, yeah, I have total faith in, in this setup. It's done, done me proud for the once a year I get it out. <laughs> Probably stinks as well. <laughs> Plenty of room in it, isn't there? Not bad, is it? Huh? Opens at both sides. Get a bit of uh, a frill draft if it's hot. Makes it easy to have a pee. <laughs> 12 seconds later. you got to be impressed. I am impressed. Up in no time, wasn't it? Look at that. What's tap for? In case it rains. <laughs> right, I'll have to figure out how to put this up. How long are we guessing, folks? I don't even know where front or back is. This might take a while, this. One hour later. That's it. That's it there, that's it. Think. Three hours later. <laughs> he recorded me on phone. <laughs> that was Paul Messner asking for tips again. <laughs> <laughs> Always ringing me at the dandest times as well. <laughs> Two thousand years later. And there we go, look. We're all set up. Only took three hours. It's new, uh, my new brand look. Oh, look, there he is again. There's loads of them, look. You put your wallet away. <laughs> yeah, all that. Look at that, look. 
That's all I'm saying. Quality content for you, this, isn't it? <laughs> 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 well, I'm having a nice time anyway, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, I nearly ate that moth then. <laughs> hey, dear. <laughs> Bit of well spread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, show us your dance moves again. <laughs> there we go. He's getting cold, Tom, having to look after him. <laughs> it, look, it looks like someone in old people's home, doesn't it? <laughs> Blanket over his legs. <laughs> oh, Nana. Thanks, <laughs> son. <laughs> oh, I just want to chill out now. It took me ages to set this tent up. <laughs> if I need to get one of them pop up ones. <laughs> Telling you guys, it's the future. It is the future, isn't it? Now you might be wondering why I'm wearing a tent on my back. <laughs> well, it's not, it's a poncho. This is what I prefer to wear when it's uh, a little bit nasty outside. And our Fenzel's got her coat on, look. But when it's windy, it can flap about a bit, but it protects my backpack. So that's always a good thing. Christ, mate. Woo. Oh, don't you just love it, eh? Might have to go out and uh, check on Kylangs. Not looking forward to that though. The tent is well and truly getting battered. Isn't it mate? Just hope it sur survives its first night. Because it's quite a tall tent. Not looking forward to going out and uh, checking the guy lines and stuff. But sometimes you gotta you've gotta do these sort of things. <laughs> right, let's put me uh, damp clothes back on and go have a look. I think that should do it. It's not as bad at the moment, but when the wind hits it here, it proper slaps against the uh, against the inner, and it sounds like someone smashing tent. You know, slapping it. Twinkly lights are coming out. Alright mate, you're coming out for a look. They're coming out for a pee pee. Yeah. <laughs> Have a pee then. Right, I'm getting back in. The good thing about this tent is there's enough room to get changed in it. Woo. Right, you don't want to see me boobies, do you? <laughs> Cold out there, isn't it, mate? 
Yeah. Middle of summer, you wouldn't think we'd need puffer jackets and stuff, would you? Down booties. I've managed to fashion a washing line of sorts. That's on one of the toggles, me waterproof jacket. Me hat's up there. And uh, Fendi's waterproofs hanging up on there. Get out in nature, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Uh, something like there. While that's boiling up, I'll tell you what I was watching the other day that uh, really, really made me laugh. Some uh, French beatboxers. I don't know if you've seen them, but is that boiling already? It's not far off. Anyway, I'll play you a clip. Absolutely brilliant. an idiot I am. Ooh. Right, stay there. Glorious. Absolutely stinks down here because 500 yards upstream there is a sewage works water treatment plant as they like to call it. So I wouldn't advise going swimming in there. I noticed that someone had put on the map that uh, it's a nice swimming spot. <laughs> <laughs> You'd probably get Ebola or something from swimming in there. <laughs> Don't fall in, mate. <laughs> I, was I was talking to Kurt, it's not you, not to fall. I think so. It's the camera that goes straight to you before. Yeah, <laughs> you've been framed, that, innit? Now I'll show you how to do it. Cause I'm a mountain goat. Whoa! <laughs> hey, we made it. <laughs> oh, I hope I guess I'll catch you, mate. Don't worry. <laughs> Just wait till Curtis has gone up. We'll shout to him once he's got up. And see if there's somewhere for us to sit. Curtis is sliding down now. <laughs> we'll just wait here for him. Belter. We'll just sit here then. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> 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 what are you doing? You have to hide, I Look at that. Got boob sweat just watching them. There we go, she's in battle cat mode. Fuck this. <laughs> 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 He's evil! <laughs> <laughs> Fendi's gonna catch me falling over, aren't you, mate? Good. Four girls, three from that. Just run. You'll be right. Oh, that's all that's good. 
right. <laughs> I'll just curl up in a ball and play Skittles. <laughs> Here we go, camp, home for the night. What are you doing, Chloe? Having a wee? <laughs> so, so, put it on. You can reach it round rucksack, around you if you want. A little bit of reach around, don't they? Game buckle, I just put it through. Well, I'm guessing Gaz will probably go. I'm, I was just going to put it here somewhere. <laughs> With a torch. Hi friend. There was about a gazillion daddy long legs in here last night from having the door open. Plus a giant slug as well. Don't mean this one, an actual slug. Not Mrs. Slug. <laughs> I don't think that I could have picked a worse place for this because of all the flies that are out. Dolly track. Custom. Get off. And I'll tell you what the parameters are for the custom mode. It's on dolly track, or you can put it into snapshot, which takes photos, or custom mode. Ah, oh, these flies are doing my nutting now. All right, mate, what have you been doing? Oh. Eh? Gallivanting. Have you been at river? Oh, thanks. <laughs> and the videos that I make is about wild camping and adventures with my French bulldog. I uh, do a lot of wild camping videos and camping weird and wonderful places. Sometimes something creepy happens to me. So check them out if you're into that sort of stuff. I'll just show you a little snippet of how I will be using it on my camps. Because it'll only be for like 5-10 second bits of b-roll that I'll be using it for. Hey up, there he goes look. <laughs> Running like a girl. <laughs> Uh, going back to my old rugby days here, it bit looks a bit having a bit of fun. <laughs> well, there he goes, look, umpty dumpty. <laughs> uh, but it's good that the uh, the drone stayed track of me though, and now I'm saying into the camera something like, "If you hold your hand out for 30 seconds, it'll come down and land on you." I'm back at the spot where I filmed the lady in white video. Now, if you don't remember. This is what happened here. I've gone and got the uh, viewer phone from over there. I'm just going to have a quick listen to these recordings. Let's see if we've got out. Don't know what that was. Sounds like it could just be wind noise, but I'm not sure. I'll have to listen to it through headphones. Right, 
you've only got 10% left so what I'm gonna do is pack up and get home have a look see what's on if we've got any footage of anything on the uh, trail camera and then on this phone the sound recording and if I've caught out then I'll put it all together with the night laps that I did but if I ain't caught anything then I'll just give you the night laps with some nice music <laughs> anyway roll the clip I'm on the hunt for a Bronze Age burial mound called Miller's Grave and it's got a bit of a grisly story attached to it. There's lots of sites to visit along the way that's steeped in folklore including Robin Hood's Penny Stone. There's a few monoliths scattered about everywhere up on these moors plus remains of old circular settlements or maybe Hengers that we're gonna see as well I'm also gonna tell you why I think there are a lot of settlements around here during the Bronze Age It's a secret Fendi Fendi where you gone mate? Oh, she's here <laughs> Took the kids out while camping the other week and they absolutely loved it Fendi found her Prince Charming and we were blessed with a lightning show that lasted hours and hours and that was awesome we were just sat on the beach you know just watching that with kids it was lightning but with no thunder which i found was strange never had that before oh mind you if you don't hear it and you're asleep <laughs> you're not gonna see it are you <laughs> but we had a lovely sunset and i had a nice dip in the morning with a absolutely gorgeous sunrise Why do we do it, eh? This is a nightmare, this. Well, this is bad. This is really bad. I'm gonna have to go out and uh, reposition guy lines, I think. Looks like it's gonna be another sleepless night for me. <clears throat> Regardless if I'm comfy or not. I've had a lot of comments on my cheap hot tent stove video telling me that I'm gonna die if I use it inside a tent so I thought I'd come out, make a video and hopefully prove them wrong <laughs> There were a really inspirational quote that I saw the other day on YouTube um, by a guy called Matthew Silver I'll show it you now What do you think the meaning of life is? To live and to live in a mystery and to find purpose 
and to live in the now magic <sighs> now <laughs> looks like a dinner from back in world war doesn't it world war ii <laughs> it's like something grandma would feed you isn't it <laughs> yeah look here's your sunday dinner come on mate oh it doesn't half look creepy down here I keep going off. Oi! Friendy! Friendy! So, beautiful views from up here. Over there, you can see um, Penny Gen. Over there, Wernside. And over there, you can just make out Blackpool Tower. <laughs> it's supposed to have like 35 to 40 mile an hour gusts up here. So we need to find somewhere a bit sheltered from the wind. Come on, let's get your jacket on, mate. Getting a bit nippy now, isn't it, kid? Eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you have to lick me nose. Yeah. There we go. Mwah. There you go, you'll warm up a bit now, won't you, kid? Ooh, you know what this is, don't you, mate? Eh? Ooh, bit of jerky for you. A little bit of jerky, don't you? Eh? Good girl. It's rock hard. <laughs> I'm going to have to put it between my butt cheeks to warm it up. Oh yeah, you're rustling can you? You've just had yours mate. Did you bring big bottle with you? Big gas bottle? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From caravan? <laughs> <laughs> can always tell up professionally, can't you, by the size of his pot. <laughs> Kurtz is in his purple disco machine. I'm wearing the uh, Grizz proof. We're gonna have to make that a, uh, a scene, aren't we? You know, when people say, oh, that tent, mate, it's bomb proof, isn't it? It's bomb proof. We're gonna have to make a scene, aren't we? Ah, but is it grizz proof? Now, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fendel's making a nest on my jacket. No point in me even bringing her sleeping bag in, so she's just gonna make a nest on my jacket instead. She'll be doing this for about 20 minutes now as well. <laughs> hey, what you like? Come for it. You can see how cold it is now. Look, clear my breath and everything. Is that it? We done. Right view that in it. <laughs> it's either a ghost or Jesus. You decide. Bloody hell these more dog walkers. Mmm. Nice and soft. Singing another song. Hear that then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the girls screaming. 2,000 views in one minute. <sighs> I feel rough today.